All right, this is the, the segment where normally on a Friday we would welcome in a comedian who is playing at Comedy at the Carlson, but instead today we have Shakespearean actor Bobby Slayton <laughs> with us this morning <laughs> to talk about Shakespeare in the Park in Ottawa coming up. <laughs> I, can't ima I can't imagine doing something like that. You know, I got a funny story for you. So, I, you know, you're looking at my little resume and my bio with all yes. these movies and TV shows that I've done. So about two months ago, my agent calls me up and says, they're doing a uh, Tootsie on Broadway. You know, the, oh, the, the, yeah, the movie. movie. Oh, so I love the, the movie. The part that Sidney Pollack, the director, played of his yeah. agent. Yes. You know, you're, you're a tomato. You're, you're, you know, what, what, yeah. I forgot. Okay. Oh, it was so awesome. It was yeah. a really funny couple of scenes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, he, they said, um, you want to go, they want, they want you to come to New York to read for this. Oh, yeah. And I said, uh, yeah, I said, sure, I'll go. And then I said, then I, I went to work with two different acting coaches. And then I realized the last thing that I ever want to do is be on Broadway. And, and I had actors call me up going, yeah, but I, I, I didn't get the part. Yeah. But it really, first of all, it doesn't pay a fortune. You have to live in New York. Right. I, I got to be away from my girlfriend. I got to be away from my dog. I told you, I just yeah. put my dog down the other I day. I know, but, sorry about and that. And the whole idea of living in New York City and working on Broadway, and doing the same thing every day, and doing two shows on Wednesday, the matinee on Sunday. Mm. That's why, like, comedy at the Carlson, it's, it's not as glamorous when you're playing. Oh, I th oh, it is. No, it <laughs> is. Well, it's very glamorous. I disagree, you know? yeah. No, but, 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 it's, 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 but it's what I do. I, I, I couldn't imagine being in a... In, in a play. Yeah. And when, so when you mentioned Shakespeare in the Park, a, a chill went up my spine. Yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> well, I'm thinking it, it, it would be, I mean, obviously a lot of people want to be on Broadway, but the, the hardest part of it would be that, that every day every and sometimes day. twice a day, yeah. you're doing the same thing. And it's and a lot of it's physical or and hard And even work though the part's not that big, you still have to sit there for the, the hours. And I have this fear of forgetting my lines. Right, and you know, too, I've yeah. done that with so many movies. Yeah. The movie, they go, okay, can't do it again. And a TV show, it's not a big deal. But to do that on Broadway, and, and it's very frightening. And plus, you have to, I go out and drink all night. I did that last night, playing comedy at the concert. Look at you. I went to, I got to give him a plug, Tony D's. And I had a <laughs> bottle of wine and a plate of pasta, one of the best pizzas I've ever had. And when I'm on the road, I don't get to do that a lot. Because Friday, Saturday, you're, by the time I finish my show, yeah. everything's closed. Yeah. Just want to go to uh, Denny's, you know? So <laughs> last night in Rochester. You I want to moon town. over my hammy? What? They yeah. sell that there. See, that, so I was told. What? Where at Denny's? Something called Moon, Moon, Moon over Miami. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. not for me. <laughs> that's not Miami. I can't believe in all the years I've been coming here, playing the, the comedy club first and now comedy at the Carlson, that you've never had me on the show. Every city I go to, I go, hey, good morning, Boston. Good morning, Vietnam. Hello, Denver. And years I come here, you guys never had me on. Well, we got you here yeah. now. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, it was, all those what are you times so sour about? We got you right here right now. Finally. What do you want? Finally. Listen, so you're performing, did you perform last night? Yes. Sir. All right, and you still managed to go out, and you came up early. It was so early exciting. This morning. And you know what? You know why I love doing this? Because I love getting up 12 hours before I have to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always great to get up. This way. And, and after, yeah, like, you know, I do the Brother Wee show, and people go, we well, can take a nap. Yeah. But, you know, I'm so... I'm You've little, been friends, I'm, I'm bouncing off the friends with Wee's for like 65, 70 years, haven't you? I mean, he's... he's <laughs> I mean, for a long time. Two of you are close. Yeah. 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 Uh, Weez has that. Weez has a connection to a lot of the comedians who come through, but I think the two of you perhaps more yeah, wh than any other. Yeah, why are you two? What, what is it about him that you guys just blend? It's because when we when we bought when we invested in the White Tiger and we lived in Vegas, that that started the whole thing. <laughs> that started the whole thing with me and Weez, and that never worked out. So he moved to Rochester. It's a long story. It's in my bio. Um, <laughs> it's in his bio. You know what? You know what it is? When I first came here, you go to every every city has this you know a morning show where they have comedians. Yeah, right. yeah. And Weez was one of the first guys to do it. Yeah, yep. and. Um, and he loves having comics on it. Yeah, and he yes. became an institution in this town. Yeah. Of course, he's not in the broadcasters New York Hall of Fame hot no. shot like you. Actually, actually, oh, actually, still, he's actually, doing okay. <laughs> he is. <laughs> oh, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> he does, he but he doesn't talk about it as soon as you walk in the door. Hey, I don't know if you remember me, Doug. New York broadcasters Hall of Fame. Oh, 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 o